physical contact whatsoever. They're definitely critters that should be respected and feared. Some are even stunning to look at and can lure people in for a closer look. Today, we're going to examine some of the most dangerous beings that walk, slither, swim, or fly on this earth today. If you see any of these beings in the wild, stay far, far away from it. Black Mamba. The Black Mamba is one of the most feared snakes in the world. Their average size is around 8.2 feet. They can be up to a scary 14 feet in length, though. This makes the Black Mamba Africa's largest venomous snake. The Black Mamba gets its name from the ominous color inside of its mouth. Black Mambas are also incredibly quick, making them one of the fastest snakes in the world. They've been known to slither up to speeds of 12.5 miles per hour. Yeah, just slithering. But as we mentioned earlier, the scary aspect of the snake is their venom, which is the cause of the most snake-related human fatalities in Southern Africa. It only takes two drops of the Black Mamba's venom to bring a person down permanently, which is why their bite is known as the kiss of death. There have been recordings of fatalities only 20 minutes after the venom was injected, but usually it takes between 30 minutes and 3 hours. However, the black mambas aren't aggressive. They want to avoid humans as much as possible. They only strike when there are no other options. Indian Red Scorpion they're between 5 to 9 centimeters in length, but as we know, just because it's small, that doesn't mean it's not dangerous. They're considered one of the most lethal scorpions in the world. The red Indian scorpion is found all over India, parts of Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. While their name suggests that they would be colored red, it's not exactly accurate. They can range from orange, brown, and red. They're nocturnal critters that hunt insects, small mice, and lizards. Usually they'll stay away from humans, however, if they're threatened or stood on, the red Indian Indian scorpion will strike with its stinger. When a person is stung by the scorpion, there is between an 8 to 40% chance of a fatality. That percentage rises with children, those with health conditions, and the elderly. The venom causes many reactions once it's injected. Severe pain around the sting site, vomiting, high and low blood pressure and heart rate, and muscular convulsions are just some of the issues. One of the most dangerous effects is pulmonary edema. This can happen within 24 hours after the sting is administered. To make matters worse, the antivenom isn't always effective. Belcher's Sea Snake and Inland Taipan. There is a bit of a debate over what the most venomous snake is. Some experts have claimed that it's the Belcher's Sea Snake. However, it's said to only release venom on roughly 25% of its bites. That's one-fourth. Also known as Hydrophis belcheri, results show that the venom is 100 times more toxic. A few milligrams of the Belcher's venom can apparently wipe out 1,000. However, the results have been disputed. The other snake fighting for number one is the Inland Taipan. Also known as the Oxyuranus microlipiditus, they can be found in central eastern Australia. The bite from one of these serpents is said to hold enough venom to be fatal to over 100 adult men. And every time they bite, they administer their venom 100%. Once a person is bit, they can perish in as little as 30 minutes if they don't get treatment. The inland taipan is so agile that it can bite multiple times in a single attack. It's also a hunter of small mammals like mice and rats. As a result, its venom specifically targets warm-blooded species. Portuguese Man of War. It might look like a jellyfish, but the Portuguese Man of War is actually a Sophiniferae. They're a species that is genetically identical, but are individuals that make up large colonies. They get their common name from the ability to use a gas-filled bladder. This causes the Man of War to float on the sea surface. They then use their fins like a sail. Hence, the similarity to the name of the warship. They're also known as Physalia Physalis. Their bodies are only 12 inches long. However, their tentacles can be as long as 165 feet. Their tentacles are littered with venom-filled nematocysts. Just one of these tentacles could take out a human in the right circumstance. However, most of the time, the human will experience a non-fatal, yet extremely painful sting. Usually, the man of war will paralyze a fish before covering it in its digestive chemical in order to consume it. To make matters worse, they've even washed up on the coast of the U.S. So even if they've died, the man of war sting is still as potent. Even though they do look blutiful, it's best to stay away. Far away. Blue Sea Slug. The Blue Sea Slug, or Blue Dragon, is also known as a Glaucus Atlanticus. It's a stunning critter to look at and can be found in many of the world's warmer oceans. They can grow up to 1.2 inches, and their blue coloring is used as a form of camouflage in the ocean. They're able to swallow air in order to float to the sea's surface when necessary. It's also one of the main predators for our last entry, the Portuguese Man of War. It's able to feast on venomous sea creatures and store the stinging nematocysts into the slug's own body, specifically around its finger-like serrata. 
data. It then uses these stored toxins as a defense against predators. Due to its color, humans may attempt to pick this sea dragon up. However, this is a bad idea. That person can be stung with more intensity than the man of war. Due to this, it can be potentially fatal. Once the blue sea slug is finished eating, then they lay their eggs and their prey's remains. Ugh. This little fact probably makes the blue sea slug a lot less adorable, but it's still pretty majestic. Giant isopod. Looking like a large water woodlouse, the isopod is an extremely odd species. Their fossil records date back over 300 million years. They're like modern day aquatic dinosaurs. Many species of isopods live on land and in sea. The maximum size of isopods are around 2 inches. The giant isopod species have been known to reach 14 inches in length, though. The giant isopods are not exactly a creature that you'll stumble across in your day to day life, though. They're found on the seabed of the ocean. Isopods are scavengers that pick off prey from the sea depths. They're also well known to attack the nets of fisheries. While not usually dangerous to people, they aren't something to be taken lightly. They have dozens of sharp claws on their underside. They also have four jaws to aid in breaking down prey. If a human does pick one up, they can strike out and attack. If you do come across one, probably best not to pet it. Not unless you want to get nipped. Gila Monster now we go from a sea monster to an animal that literally has monster in its name. It's also an animal that can be found in the southwest of the USA. The Gila Monster, also known as Heloderma suspectum, is a species of venomous lizard. They're around 20 inches in size, which makes it the largest native lizard in the United States. They can be identified by their black bodies with either a pink, orange, or yellow pattern. There are very few venomous species in the world, but the Gila Monster holds the world record for being the most venomous. They hold enough venom to kick the bucket of cats and dogs. If you see your pet playing with a Gila monster, then get them away as fast as you can. On the plus side, the Gila monster is sluggish and their venom hasn't caused any fatal interactions with people, but the bite is said to be extremely painful nonetheless. The Gila tends to hold on and sink its teeth in and chew. Ugh. This allows the venom to drip into the wound. Velvet Ant. The velvet ant isn't actually an ant. Sorry for the misdirection. Instead, it's a parasitoid wasp that's part of the Mutilidae species. Yet, only the males have wings. To make up for that, the females possess a stinger that the males don't have. The stinger is almost as long as the velvet ant's entire abdomen. It's also quite a powerful stinger at that. So much so that one of its names is the cow killer. These scarily nicknamed insects can be found in eastern America. They're three quarters of an inch long, making them roughly the size of a paperclip. The females are covered with dense orange hair that make them appear as though they're an ant. As they stick to the ground, the females will tend to hide if a person comes walking by them. Due to this, they rarely sting people. However, they do defend themselves if they feel threatened or are accidentally stepped on. The sting's effects are said to last up to 30 minutes, so it's probably best not to touch them. Then again, who's touching wasps? Fire Ant. Unlike the Velvet Ant, the Fire Ant is actually an ant. They get their name for two reasons. One, for their often reddish color. Two, because of the potency of their stings. The Red Imported Fire Ant is an invasive species in the USA, Australia, China, and Taiwan. It's said that they came to these countries after the ants found their way into shipping crates. What makes these critters dangerous, though, is their colonies. The mounds blend into the surrounding environment. You can't even see them. So if a person isn't paying close attention and they're walking, you could easily walk into a Fire Ant hill. And if that happens, you'll soon be swarmed by the aggressive ants. The size of the worker ants varies from 2.4 to 6 millimeters. They use their mandibles to grip onto their victims. Then they sting and inject their toxic alkaloid venom, called selenopsin. While individually, the sting isn't usually dangerous to a person. However, a colony could have up to 200,000 ants. As a result, a person could be stung many, many times. And if that person's allergic, it could be fatal. Crocodiles. While fire ants are small, this creature is anything but... But, for example, saltwater crocodiles can reach a massive length of 20 feet and weigh over a ton. If the reptile's size doesn't scare you, then their main chomping weapon should. In a study, the saltwater crocodile was found to have a jaw strength of a staggering 16,460 newtons, giving it the second strongest in the world. First place goes to the Nile crocodile. They have a bite force of an immense 22,000 newtons. In order to feast, the croc is an ambush hunter. They can go long periods without eating due to being cold-blooded. So what they do is conceal themselves under the water and wait. As soon as something edible is near, they strike. Then they drag their prey underwater until it's no longer moving. Due to their ability to hide, an estimated 1,000 people around the world are consumed by crocodiles every year. After all, they can be found in five continents around the world. As a result, crocodiles are one of the most dangerous species on the planet.